Hi, I'm Joe Ashton, UAW Vice President and Director of the General Motors Department. And I'm Jim Glenn, Vice President of Labor Relations, North America. April 28th is recognized nationally as Workers Memorial Day. It is a date of remembrance at all UAW GM facilities. On this day, we gather to recognize and honor those who have lost their lives in the workplace. It's also a day of renewal, our pledge to stop these tragedies from ever happening again. The loss of a life or any injury on the job is unacceptable. Workers Memorial Day, April 28th, was chosen in memory of workers as it coincides with the anniversary of the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1971. Today, we acknowledge the grief experienced by loved ones, families, co-workers, and communities. And we recommit ourselves to fight for a safe and healthful workplace for all employees. I'm proud to say that in our UAW GM North American facilities, we had no work-related deaths in 2013. But that does not mean our continued focus on safety is complete. In fact, we must take worker safety to the next level. We must make sure safety remains our overriding priority. This year's worker memorial theme is recognizing near misses today can prevent fatalities tomorrow. Near miss incidents occur throughout our facilities on a daily basis. A near miss incident is one in which under slightly different circumstances could have resulted in a serious injury or loss of life. Near miss incidents indicate that something is wrong. There are warnings of a potential major problem. These opportunities to make corrections, to put in a permanent fix prior to someone getting injured or killed. We must take the appropriate action on every near miss situation. Think about it this way. Have you ever experienced or witnessed a near miss? What did you do about it? Reporting near misses are important, and even more important is properly investigating and applying corrective actions immediately. We must do everything we can to assure that when a worker steps into one of our facilities, their safety, their well-being, and their life is protected. Taking that brief moment to reduce risk can prevent an incident that would pose serious injury or death. Just a moment of planning can prevent a lifetime of grief and sorrow for your family, friends, and coworkers. The safety of every worker remains the overriding priority of the UAW GM leadership. We strive to always remain firm on this commitment. We should all think about our own safety efforts in the workplace and also think about ways in which we can improve them. One way is to report, investigate, and correct near misses. As you watch the video, think about how easily a near miss can become a tragedy. We cannot allow a tragedy to be our starting point for taking actions. Let's be our brother and sister's keeper and speak up when an unsafe condition or action is observed. Recognizing a near miss today can prevent a fatality tomorrow. Following a process is imperative to safely perform your duties as a UAW GM employee. That process, if compromised, can make the difference between life and death. We found that over time, these processes can become second nature, yet it's important to never take them for granted. John's an electrician at the plant. We talked to him about a situation he had that seemed simple, but could have been very serious. John, let's talk about an experience you had last year while working in a panel. Yeah, well, I got a call about a machine on the floor that was acting up, and it seemed to be intermittent. I was dispatched to the location, and I determined when I got there, I had to enter the panel in order to resolve the problem. I thought I had all the proper equipment for this type of repair. I reached into my pouch, and I grabbed my screwdriver and opened the panel door, and all was fine until I reached out to make the connection, and that's when my screwdriver fell inside the panel. I looked down and realized that I had the wrong screwdriver. And had I made a connection with those energized conductors, it would have created an arc. So how did you grab the wrong screwdriver? What happened? Well, I always put my tools back exactly the same way every time. So I just, when I reached out, I expected to grab the right tool. When you're dealing with 480 volts, if you create an arc, it could be deadly. It could electrocute you, it could badly burn you, or it could even kill you. I, it, and my FR screwdriver is clearly marked with insulation. I just, with the way I grabbed it, I didn't notice it. and. It wasn't until I dropped it into the panel that I realized I had the wrong screwdriver. Well, after this near mishap incident, I bet it's pretty important that you and your coworkers um, 
watch over each other, you know, be your brother's keeper, so to speak. You better believe that after this, every time I grab any tool out of my pouch, I always double check, no matter how confident I am that I just put it in there, I know right where I put it, so. And I expect the same from my coworkers. It's important to watch out for your own safety, but it's important to watch out for the safety of others as well. Tisha works in a plant where up to 1,200 employees work on any given shift. Lots of activity means lots of potential for accidents and near-miss situations. Let's have Tisha tell us about her near-miss incident. I had just finished with break, went to the restroom, stopped, grabbed, you know, a sip of water. This area is typically busy. However, as I walk away, I walked right into the guardrail, which was just recently installed, and I'm glad I did because if I, you know, if it wasn't there, I would have walked right into the path of a vehicle. I really would have. So I'm just thankful, you know, that someone saw that this was a place to install a guardrail, and it was just recently installed into our plant. You walk into these paths every day. You know that you're supposed to think safety first. You make eye contact with the PIBs, you know, as they're driving by, but it's just important to make sure your mind is clear while you're inside of the plant and think safety first. Would you say that that guardrail possibly saved your life? Absolutely. Tisha? I'm really thinking that it could have happened to somebody else. Maybe it did happen to someone and they thought that this was a perfect area to install, you know, a guardrail. So I'm thankful that they did. Sure. Let's talk a little bit about the SOTs, uh, safety observation tours. Uh, those are pretty, um, that you and your coworkers looking out for each other and making safety a number one priority. Well, you know, the good thing is, is with the SOT, you know, they come around, they, they look for potential areas that could probably, you know, cause tragic accidents or what have you. So, you know, I'm glad that they do that. That's very important because there's so much that goes on in this plant and areas that may not seem dangerous could be, you know, potentially dangerous. So that's what the SOT, you know, that's what they do. And it's a good thing that they do because, again, it saved my life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, Tisha. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Eric has been a worker in this plant for the past nine years. One of his responsibilities is maintenance when needed in elevated robotics. We asked Eric how safety has evolved in these areas where falls could lead to serious injuries. Tell me, what's it like working up here? Uh, this is a relatively flat surface, so it's, it's easy to maneuver. Um, over the years, a lot of uh, safety measures have been, uh, have been taken, and a lot's changed over the years as well. So. In a company that's been around this long, um, safety has definitely evolved to a number one priority standard. They're doing a great job. You know, it started with like those chains over where major fall risks had happen. If you were to fall, it could result in uh, some serious injury. But like I said, over the past years, they've changed a lot. It started with uh, new anchor points, and then they uh, just started installing uh, these. These are called self-retracting lanyards. Mm -hmm. And what we have here is uh, this goes right to the back of the harness that you'd wear while you're walking around the cage. And God forbid something happens, and if you do a, a fast fall, Complete, it starts to jerk right away and it holds you in place, so you're not going anywhere. Wow. So here, take, tr sure, try it out. So yeah. I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking, and something happens. Yeah. Wow. That's... And it holds you right in place. It's a very, very, very safe uh, safe method and that right they use here. Right your arm or... Right there. We also have this fantastic system in place called the interlock system. Mm -hmm. So if uh, one of us has to do some work on the robotics, we open up the gate, and by opening up the gate, the interlock system essentially kills everything. It's like a giant kill switch, so we can work on it. We know that the robots aren't going to start working uh, while we're inside, wow. and uh, we can get done what needs to be get done. We go back in, unlock it, and they're back to working. And lastly, Eric, tell me, um, how much does it mean to you that you and your coworkers and staff are, are constantly looking out for each other? Oh, it's it's number one. Safety and, yeah. and cooperation is, is key to, to, to success here. And, um, you know, th to know that we all have each other's back. When you're in an elevated area, you need to make sure that you take the best safety precautions. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Next, we talked to Leroy, who was working on the assembly line. He had a situation where his safety glasses fell off and landed under the assembly track. So, Leroy, explain the situation. Well, actually, I was working right here on this line, and I dropped my glasses. So I went over just to see exactly where my glass had fallen, make sure I didn't have to lock out that section of the line. I thought to myself, I don't need to shut down everything for something so minor. I can just crawl underneath real quick and grab them. Now, is that the procedure for a small incident like that? I mean, no, it's never happened before. I thought I could just go underneath, grab my glasses, it only take a few seconds, 
but then I took a step back. I had these flashes of these stories that I've heard, then I remember just how easily and quickly something could go wrong. There are all kinds of pinch points. I could have lost a finger, an arm. I could have been electrocuted down there. And for something I thought was so simple, that could have turned out to be a real serious situation. Now, I'm sure after that incident, it really kind of pays to play it safe. We are our brother's keeper, and exactly. safety is paramount around here. We want to come in and leave the same way we came in. A job well done, Leroy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. We must all take Workers Memorial very serious. Every individual at our UAWGM facilities must be aggressively engaged in identifying any injury, near miss, unsafe act, or unsafe condition, which may lead to a fatality. These are known as sentinel events. Please honor those we have lost with a moment of silence. And remember, the bottom line is this, every sentinel event identified Corrected and shared is a potential lifesaver.